Hi guys, it's Jamie here. Welcome to my channel. So I've got a weekend vlog for you guys because I feel like I've missed a couple of weeks um, uploading and I kind of want to keep my channel somewhat active than just go dead. But I've been finding it really hard to, I guess, find time to record. Um, lately, I've just been so caught up because... Um, Izzy's been sick, I've been sick and just she's at that stage now where she's getting very active and I have to kind of just keep a close eye on her and yeah so I thought I would do a weekend vlog since it's weekend at the moment. Um, Saturday it's actually I've already missed half the day because it's two o'clock now. Um, I actually had a busy day this morning. I had an appointment in the city so since I was there um, I thought I'll swing by Chapel Street because there was a Hux baby sale uh, to grab some bargains and then came home. Um, since I was out, Ken looked after Isabel at home, so we're kind of tag teaming. So I want to take Coco for a quick walk and um, then come back and he's going to go out. So let's do that. Coco, this way. Stubborn ass kid. Come on. Keep walking. Good boy. So we've been on a walk for about 20 minutes already and this kid has peed like five times already. He's so stubborn as well. He always goes sniff off at places and if he doesn't want to come, he looks all four feet down. Come on, let's go. Ugh. I wanted to show you a quick haul, um, a Hux Baby haul. So Hux Baby is a, I think it's a Melbourne base, I could be wrong, but like an Australian brand of um, kids clothing. They are, I guess their focus is like a minimal kind of minimalistic look. Um, very cute, but like all, I guess, boutique kind of style stores, it does get quite expensive in my opinion. And I'm like... Um, all about cheap thrills. So for me, I think it's fairly expensive, but once in a while they have like sales. Anyways, I wanted to show you some of their amazing stuff. This is not sponsored by the way, but if you're from Hux Baby, hook me up. Um, but yeah, so like I said, the deal is um, $20 each. These are their current sale prices, but if you buy more than 10 items and it comes to $15 each, so your girl went and bought like at least 10 stuff. Um, so hopefully Kian doesn't, you know what, I shouldn't even say anything. Anyways, so the stuff I had bought now, it's a little bit big for her, but something I guess thinking in advance than buying stuff that was smaller. But there is one thing that I bought kind of smaller. I'm not small, but hopefully she fits in because it's super cute, is this romper. I love rompers in babies. I think they're just super nice. I love it because, you know, they hold the nappies in. But this is super cute. This is in a size 0, 12, 6 to 12 months. I feel like 6 to 12 months is such a big, like, age range. But Isabel is kind of on the more chunkier side. So hopefully um, she can wear this because it's winter at the moment. This kind of linen kind of, like material will be great just to wear with like leggings and stuff so we can still kind of get away with it um so this is super cute and like i said because i bought more than 10 items they're like 15 bucks each so the next one i got is this dress so this is i'm not sure whether linen is the right word for material but this is a woven dress um this is in a size two so looking at size one and two I actually didn't find much size ones, but I thought size two will be perfect. I don't know how she's going to grow, whether she's going to grow super big um, really fast or not. So I thought size two was a safe bet. I think it's just super cute and super light. Um, and I got this one in a grey. I also got a couple more dresses, but these are in a size four. Because so I figured there wasn't really much... I guess in between sizing so i got a lot of more size four, uh, four clothes but i thought i'll invest in her future um so i got this one as well in like a blush pink which is really nice and basic but just really cute hey. also got one in a denim um and this one is the same but just a slightly thicker material and i also got this blue I also got her some printed dresses like this one these are like their melted popsicle love heart popsicles I don't know if they say the price, but I got this one for her. And I got this one as well. This is one of my favourite prints. It's like a Frenchie collection print. Um, got this one. So these are all in a size 4. I end up finding this one lying around. This is just like a nice unisex jacket. 
um, which is also size 4, so she has a couple of years to grow into these, but, you know, starting to get them early. And I also got this t-shirt, which is super cute. This is in a size 2, so hopefully she'll be able to wear this soon. And I also got her a little tutu dress because I love anything that's kind of like that meshy tool. tool I don't know how to say it. That mesh, meshy kind of material or lace. I'm kind of just like really gravitated towards. I'm not sure if she'll like it, but I hope she does. Because I bought her this cute little like tutu kind of dress. And it's got that little um, Frenchy print on it as well. Um, but yeah, it looks super cute. So hopefully like she'll be able to wear this like as a set. I hope she likes it, but yeah. And then the last thing I bought was this cute little favors. It'll be cute for her to wear when she's um, around two to three, because this is size three. There was this in a size two as well, but again, the mom brain or the Asian brain in me thinks, you know, go up because she can grow into it and get the most out of it. So that is cute. And that is all the stuff that I got from Hux Baby. I really like their clothing. The material is quite nice, but they do run on the smaller side. Um, but they do have sales in Melbourne annually, like around this time, um, July every year. So I thought it was a good purchase, but yeah, got all those for her. We don't really have much on today. Um, nothing exciting planned this weekend, but I still wanted to post my weekend blog with you guys just to show you, I guess, the reality of being a, like a mum. Um, it's not all, you know, rainbows and butterflies and all that. And I find it a lot of times people put like the good stuff, but, you know, being a mum is not just... You know, all the fun things, there's a lot of times where you're just sitting there because you can't do a lot of stuff. Like, Isabel is now nine months and she's getting to the stage where she can't really... Everything is all interesting. She's just grabbing everything. Even getting her down to nap is a struggle. Um, so I'm very limited in what I can and can't do around. So now that she's gone down for her nap, I may put some music on to get her in the mood to nap while I do some spot cleaning around the house. <laughs> So little miss just does not want to nap today. Normally I put her down around 2-3 o'clock because that's when she starts to get tired and starts sucking her thumb. And now I know that's a sign of her needing a nap. Um, Kang already put her down for a nap when I got home. So I don't even know whether she took a long nap or not. But since she's been with me, she's just been crying. And normally I'll let her cry before she goes down to sleep because she normally it's just like a tired cry. But she just kept screaming. So I did manage to do a bit of spot cleaning in um oh bless you just in the congested like the area we spend most of the time um but i guess now so i was planning to start um a project since her first birthday is coming up i mean there's still another three months but thought i'll start planning now but i guess it's couch time for us isn't it mm -hmm. since we're on the couch i just wanted to show you guys um the setup I've got for Isabel. So she is again nine months now and she's getting the stage where everything is all handsy and curious. So this is a kind of setup that we have, excuse my feet, but that's her. So her portico I was using as a change table at the start. Now as she got older I used the um, middle section for her to sleep on um, and now I've moved, I've taken the change part off it um, so she can, uh, now that she fits fully in there. So I had to move all the stuff we stored in the porter cot, um, in the little basket on top of the speakers there. So that's all the daily stuff that we normally use, like nappies, bibs, um, and going out stuff. And this is the current area where we play with her. So, um, that little car thing my cousin got for her, so for her to sit in. She's not really sitting properly right now, so I put her in for maybe 10 minutes or so just to get used to so she can play with, and then she starts crying. Um, but then this is a play mat, so I bought this through Maggie and Grace, or Grace and Maggie. I'll leave a link down below um, if I can remember. Um, but so the idea was I wanted to – I bought a mirror from um, – I oh no, okay, I came up um, just because I read somewhere just for sensory and – you know, making her more aware with reflection and stuff. And then that's the bunch of, that's a 
um, a basket of toys that's currently, you know, that I think is age appropriate, like soft books, little rubber blocks and stuff, and, and her little elephant and a little toy dog um for her to play with i've also got the baby play gym which i'm thinking about packing up because i think she's getting a little too old that she's not so interested in and i've also got this huge ass jolly jumper which i invested in and it was a really good investment she really loves it she always likes kicking but she's not really good at standing so i thought this would just encourage her to stand um the only thing is it's really bulky and i just don't want to keep moving it back and forth so i've just left it here just means we have to see over it um to watch tv but she loves it um, although I've only let her in maybe like twice a day, 10 minutes each, just for her to have a good jump. So yeah, like I was saying as well, I find it hard, I guess, sitting down and recording. Um, and I do kind of want to focus, like, I don't really want this channel to be completely um, about, you know, the whole mum life thing. Although that seems to be the direction I'm going, but I do also want to put more effort into my website so i've been blogging for a very long time but i've keep going on and off because i keep forgetting about it um and also just finding you know things to write about so i thought i've been doing a few side projects isabel i've been doing a few side projects that i want to be able to share plus because i kept my pregnancy as a secret until she was born I have a lot of things that I haven't posted that I do kind of want to just get out there. Um, like my baby shower, what I did for it and things like that. So if you're interested in more mum stuff, like I said, most likely this channel will lead that way. But I do, I will also be posting more on my blog about, I guess, DIYs, things I've learned. Um, it's all, this is all a new journey for me and you know, just to be able to share it with other mums. And are you eating my hair? No, 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 don't eat my hair. <sighs> but yeah, so that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to start posting up some things like her nursery, um, how I prep for her food ideas and things like that. Oh, you want to go down again for a nap? Isabel, say hi. Hi. She's learnt. I don't know if she's learnt, but I think she knows how to say hi. Hi, hi, focus on her hand, hi, hello, hello, I do, I do also notice as well that when we're out, she tends to get really shy, Isabel, hi, hello, hmm? almost, almost, <laughs> At least one of them is taking a nap. So it is dinner time and we are having leftovers. I made some Korean yesterday. Um, so we're just having that again. So I'll show you. So I've got some leftover. This is just corn omelette. It's so simple, but I really like it. And I've got some bulgogi. So... I just chopped up some um, onions, spring onion, garlic and carrot and mixed it with beef and um, bulgogi sauce. And this one is like a chili kind of uh, bean curd mix. So again, um, green onions, was it? No, spring onions, carrot, onions with some chili paste and some of the... Um, the bean curds, which is already pretty marinated, got from the Korean shop. And that's what we're having for dinner tonight. Ah, oh, also forgot Izzy's dinner. <laughs> it doesn't look the most appealing, but in here there's a bunch of like green veggies, spinach, cal um, celery, carrot, uh, broccoli, some lentil beans, chickpea, and beef mitts. So this is her food. Um, all of this is like, honestly, it's like comfort food, but it's so good. And it's actually quite cheap as well. Like it was pretty like, like all, most of these stuff were like, yeah, really cheap. So let me know as well if you want me to do recipe paste. I like, I try to keep things when it comes to weekly groceries, like try to keep it under budget. Um, but this is really filling. So yay. Mm. Oh, oh no. Oh no. It's got everywhere. Don't talk with your mouthful. You can't talk with your mouthful. I'm sorry. Did I tell you off? I'm sorry. Mm. 
No, she's telling her daddy on me. <laughs> Oh no, Coco! Coco, clean up! Clean up, aisle three! Thank you. So today is Sunday. Um, last night after dinner, we just did the huge um, nighttime routine, gave her a bath, um, hung around with her, fed her, put her to bed, watched TV, and did our little thing. Um, so it is now, um, I think, 11 o'clock. We're on our way. Today's meant to be like at 18 degrees over forecast, I think. But it was a nice day, so I thought we'll make the most of it. So this morning, we're going to do a little bit of window shopping um, at DFO at Southwall. Um, haven't been like we haven't been out out in so long like just you know just doing stuff like lately I've just been wanting to stay home and not go out I think it's because I've been sick as well and she's been sick but I think it's time we get some fresh air somewhat fresh air and go out a bit so that's where we're heading now for a bit So we just got home. Oh, I think I got something growing on my nose. Um, we're just waiting in the car. It's just after one o'clock. It's almost one thirty. But little Miss um, didn't really take a nap this morning, and she passed out in the car. So I thought I'll let her snooze a bit. Um, otherwise, she doesn't really get much nap anymore. Like if anything, she maybe gets like like maybe 45 half an hour to 45 minutes a day um usually she's pretty good like if she's tired she'll let you know she's tired but a lot of times now I think because she does get a good run of sleep at night she doesn't actually nap during the day so when she does sleep I try to like spend more time in the car to let her sleep um otherwise once she's awake she's awake but yeah so we just got back from South Wharf which is like a DFO outlet um and I was going to say, I'm kind of really annoyed. So I don't often go there because it's a pain in the ass, just anywhere, shopping centers, um, anywhere in general where there's parking. Parking is so annoying. Like in Melbourne, Chadston is like one of the biggest shopping centers. And I used to go there like every week. Um, but as you know, shopping centers get bigger, they introduce more parking and it's just so hectic trying to find parking. But the reason why I don't always, like I don't often go south wharf dfo is because you actually have to pay for parking there so parking there is i think it said the first hour was six dollars and i think after that must be 24 dollars, like 12 dollars after that which i don't know like it didn't really from my calculation didn't make sense so we try to keep it under two hours there so we thought you know that's 12 hours uh 12 dollars for two hours and then when you shop at dfo you get 50 percent off parking so we're okay six dollars for parking and then when we paid for parking it ended up being like 24 dollars and half price was 12 dollars and we just couldn't Re, like it just didn't tell like we couldn't add it up why it was twelve dollars it's ridiculous like I just think as shopping centers like if you're planning or making it bigger I don't understand like I get why they charge customers just you know to pay off the budget to have it built but at the same time I don't understand why as a shopping center why if you want to expand it to make it bigger it should be out of their budget to provide that for you because at the end of the day if you're providing free parking available doesn't it just entice customers to come and shop and that's the reason why i buy things online especially when there's no shipping fee it's because it's not the fact that most times because I don't want to go out of the house because a lot of times I do like to go out. The only reason why is because you've got to pay extra on parking. Parking is ridiculous. Anyways, we didn't stay long. We were actually there just to try a few things out. Um, but I did manage to buy one pair of shoes from Seed. Um, it's not exactly the right season but i bought it thinking you know it's cute for summer and spring so i bought these little sandals they look really small because i'm normally after being pregnant i think i've gone up a size to like size 39 um but when i tried on the 39s i was super big and i didn't have 38 so i got a 37 because they're slippers i'm hoping you'll kind of um widen up a bit that my feet my feet length just fit but yeah these were originally 
$80 and then they were on sale for $50 and half price. I got it for like $24 and I think it's just super cute. I've got a pair of like Kmart ones I bought like for eight bucks, but they're starting to, um, I guess, wear a lot and tear. So I thought I'll invest in a proper pair for summer, but yeah, that's all we got. I'm just going to wait it out in the car so she gets a little bit more nap before we head down and give her a feed. Three birds with one stone, learning how to sit, working on a sensory, and hopefully this will tire her out into a nap, which is almost soon. So for dinner today, we're having a lazy cheat day. So I don't know why, but recently like fast food joints have been having like ridiculous deals like Macca's doing like um, Big Macs for a dollar, large fries for a dollar. KFC has been doing nine piece chickens for $10 on Tuesday and have a deal at the moment where they've got um, 15 wicked wings, for, I think $10 or something like that. Anyway, so for dinner today, like I said, we're going really lazy and cheap. So we're having KFC wicked wings with a twist um, and I've turned it into, instead of Kentucky fried chicken, Korean fried chicken. So all I've done is just, usually I would, um, um, deep fry my own chicken wings and make like Korean fried chickens but because we're so lazy well I'm lazy and plus I had a deal and it probably works out with all the prices of food and stuff it probably works out the same or cheaper um, we just use the wicked wings instead so we're just having this and rice Izzy's having her little baby food that I've made up um, pretty much the same as the other day Coco's got his food um, with some sardines so we're all happy and ready to eat so it's now just past eight o'clock. I'm probably gonna end the vlog here because we're just on the couch watching MasterChef and we're about to just wind down and start our nighttime bedtime routine. Um, hope you had a good weekend. Hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to watch more. Thanks for watching. Bye. 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 <laughs>